Well, my soldering iron's broken down. I think we saw that in the last video where it wasn't heating up. Obviously got a problem with the cable. So this time we're gonna track down the problem and fix it. My soldering iron's acting up. It keeps going offline. I think we got a cord that's broken here, see? We got a we got a, either a connection here or a cord that's broken. So I wonder if I can try to fix this thing. That's what we're gonna try and do in this little, hopefully relatively short video. As uh, I have a couple things to build, a couple little projects that I received that need to be soldered together. So let's see if I can take this thing apart. So we'll first remove the tip, which is already warm. And I'll remove the iron and then I can push looky looky nice and easy to work on these so somewhere there's a break in one of the wires that's connecting the tip I don't know exactly where but I assume that it's going to be right about right here somewhere in, in this part of the iron here so I'm just going to mark this by nipping it a bit so that I know roughly where I'll be looking. And here it is. Here's where it's nipped. So if I, if I open the cable up here and shorten this back to maybe back here, then um, I should solve my problems. Now inside here there's couple wires that look to be the same color. Let me just open this up and see. There's just some wires that connect down to the board and then they connect to the the uh, cable a little further down. On here there should be what five, I think there's five wires. Let's see if there's two red, a white, a blue, and a yellow. The white and the blue look like they go to the sensor, which are these two terminals here. And then there'll be two for the heater, which would be the two red ones. And the, I guess the yellow one is the ground. I think that's how it is. Let's just confirm. So that'll be ground there, I'm sure. Which it is. So yellow is ground. It's gonna be one of the sensor wires, I'm sure, that's causing the problem. So if I uh, if I open up the cable, 
should be able to figure out where it's broken. My iron, let's get my, my wire will be a little bit shorter, but we're going to open the cable up and see if I can find where it's broken. Because when I give the wire a tug, it should break, it should pull apart the insulation. As long as I open this thing up to beyond where the, uh, the break is. So let me open up the wire. Okay, I've got the wire opened up to just beyond where the where the end of the strain relief is. I suspect it's going to be either the uh, the white or the blue wire that's broken. And that one's not doing it. What about? <clears throat> Maybe this one of the heater wires. Not that it matters because they're gonna I gotta shorten them up anyway, but gonna get my other backup iron going. Just so I can do this, I have another. This 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 one here, which is not my favorite one. I, I don't have any spare tips for it. Nobody local sells them, so I just use this for backup use. We'll just do these one wire at a time. That way I can get them all the right length. Just had a friend pee me on my BBM. Just got their uh, COVID shot today. Letting me know that they made it home alive. <laughs> it's like, okay, uh, did I expect anything different? That one didn't stick. Try that one again.
I gotta be sure I don't have any stray straggly wires sticking out here because they will short I don't think the sensor even matters for polarity these ones certainly don't because it's AC 24 volts but I don't even think this, the, the uh, sensor is not going to matter because I think it's just probably a thermal couple anyway so but we'll we'll match up the polarity I guess if it's a thermal couple it would matter because if it's a thermistor it won't but if it's a thermal couple it will because a thermal couple generates voltage when it gets hot so that's got those two and now it's just the blue and the white sensor wires another message from my friend there going out of how their arm felt like it was on fire I think some people don't have a very high tolerance for pain though That should do it. It's going to make sure there's no stray strands of wire sticking up here that can short out. Just double check. Make sure that the 24 volt ones are, are that's the ones that I'm concerned about is the 24 volt wires. Make sure there's no stray strands that are sticking up here that could short out to anything. Looks like we're good. back into the handle and there should be the other Plug it back in and see whether it works. Looks like the power is on and there goes the temperature heating up. This light comes on when the uh, element's actually on. So it's heating up quite quickly as you can see. This was a cheap soldering station but uh, it's been uh, really has been a good one for me. I've had it for how many years have I had this now? Like three four years? I've had it quite a while and it has uh, it's been a really good it's a knockoff, right? It's a Zaxion, Zaxon. It's a knockoff for a Haco, but uh, or Haco, but uh, yeah, it um, it's worked quite well for me over the years, as you can see. It's melt and solder, and I've calibrated the tip, so it is fairly accurate. Anyway, there you go. You got one of these things that's acting up. All you gotta do is just cut off a piece of the wire and uh, look, find out where it's broken. It's usually gonna break right here because that's the that's the high stress point. Just shorten the leads a bit, 
you're back in business no need to go and buy a new a new handle for a broken cord thanks for watching